Thanks, Adam. We've got to imagine Adam's got six mobile anterior teeth here. I need to take an impression. So if these teeth are, are mobile, we're worried they're going to come out in the impression material, so we need to take two separate impressions in one go. So we're going to talk you through that now. So what we need for this, we need one of these retractors. This is really important. If you haven't got one of these, this technique's really difficult. I'll just show you how this goes. Most people probably know. You put this in, and the aim is to retract the upper lip so you can see the labial sulcus. So we're going to use one of these today. We're going to use a tray that we already checked fits. So as always, check the tray fits, slide it in. Now what we want to do is we had to see these six anterior teeth. We don't want the tray in the way. So what we do is we cut the tray back. So you have a big burr. It's really coarse. I'm sure we weren't quite ready for this because the foot control is in the way. So what we do now is make a window anteriorly. If you don't use a coarse burr, it will block. So this is stage one. Water. Tie the tray in, mind the sharp edges, and now you can see we've got a tray with a big window. So those teeth are now not covered by the tray. That's where we start. 